Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and thanks for joining me for part 5 of this series Guitar Soldering 101 and in this episode I'm going to be looking at soldering to the jack so I'm going to solder the white hot wire to the tip and then solder this black ground wire to the ring okay now and the first thing I'm going to look at is actually tinning the wires, but I mean, I've already tinned it a little bit. And I'm using hookup wire, which is great because you can pull it back. Now these are tinned a little bit, but I'm just going to show you a little bit of my tinning procedure again. And a little tip for you here when soldering a jack like this, it's so much easier if you attach it to the thing that you're going to actually be attaching it to in the end because it's less likely to move around then because if you try to just solder to a jack a bare jack on a tabletop it's going to roll around and it's not going to be a good patient really so getting it stationary and attached to something like this is a good idea I've also got a cloth down because you know we do have accidents we do have dripping and we don't want them to go on the paintwork of the guitar Although it wouldn't be too disastrous here because it would go inside the cavity, but you could be working on something like, let's say, a 63 strat, let's say, you don't want that to be happening. So I'm going to tin the wires here and just go through my tinning. But obviously, if you've seen part one, then you've seen me going through tinning in some depth. And what I like to do with hookup wire, because later on I'm going to be pulling the hookup wire, or pushing it rather, to actually meet the solder joint is just like to chop off a tiny bit because when you've got a bit of excess wire sorry a bit of excess cloth rather it becomes easier to pull to push it straight up to the joint always worth it at the end as well checking your cavities because these little bits I trim off and things as they go they can obviously gather in the guitar and then you've got something rattling in your guitar and you think, hang on, what's going on here? So I'm just going to tin the two places where I want to end up. And again, now this one, the solder here wants to go underneath. So I'm going to try and just add to the top and get it to fall. Oop. Now, look at that. Starting to drip. So if you've seen me in a previous video, I'm just going to change it so that I'm going to dip it that way a little bit so that I use gravity to actually help it to go where I want it to go rather than dripping down. Okay, I'm just inspecting that and that's looking good. I've got enough solder. And I've also got enough solder on the tips of the wires to help fill too. And just add that there. Now I might do the black one first. I'm probably going to need to bring my jack just a little bit closer. Again, this, this, this wire is great because rather like the plastic stuff, which tends to melt away as well when placed in, in close proximity to the soldering iron and the solder, this stuff doesn't, although it can fray obviously. And you can pull it back so it's well away from the action do your soldering and then you can push it up so even though it seems a little bit archaic this sort of hookup wire it's really practical to use and really nice to use as well and obviously it's the vintage stuff so if you know obviously a lot of our customers come to us and they're doing some sort of vintage style product a project rather and I'm using fingers now to hold it in place I'll try and go in as quickly as I can. Try not to get in the way, but I probably am in the way a little bit. I'll hopefully be able to show you Ooh, a little bit more depth on that one. I'm happy with that. Ooh, actually, it's protruding a little bit too much. I only want it to protrude really by about a millimetre. And now I can push that to meet the solder joint okay and this one I'm going to do as well I 
got. I'm going to kink it a little bit because I need a bit of help here because I'm running out of wire really to come through. So I'm going to kink that. Now one of the things you can do is angle it down a little bit through the hole because then you know if you think about it these are going to be pulled a bit like that and you don't want them. We'll need to tighten that up. You don't want them later on to get to the point where they could possibly break so helping it into the direction where it's going to end up is a good idea too. So I've got enough solder now I'm just going to get a little bit on my tip and I'm very very close to the plastic of the guard so that's another thing to be aware of melt through that plastic guard and I you know it's not going to look very good is it so I'm close to my fingers too and this is a bit of an example of some of the contortionism you've got to do really with soldiering sometimes and using spare fingers really to hold things down and I'm happy with that We've got a good shiny joint on both sides. I'm going to push it, push the hook up wire, Oop. so it meets it there. And then I'm going to get it into place, screw it into place. And I'm going to move on to part six. So hopefully I'll see you very soon. We're going to look at soldering to the trem claw. Thanks for watching, guys.